you guys. I'm Jenna. And I'm Sarah. And welcome to Bad Girls Room. Let me just say, subscribe. <laughs> That's the first thing we need to say. If you don't subscribe, Sarah's gonna call her father, and we know what's gonna happen then. <laughs> Major bread shortage. Her dad is John Dempster's, so. Today we are gonna talk about dating! dating! Ah! Before all of that, we are gonna do our girl boss moment of the week. This is the week where we. <laughs> this is the week where we felt like something happened and we just handled it like a girl boss. I was cutting the grass Absolutely. and my um, gardener, Jimmy, he walks over and he's like, hey and i was like oh my god hi but it was over the lawnmower and i accidentally ran over his foot and there was blood everywhere no uh, mm -hmm. that's crazy i know right? <laughs> <laughs> no but there was blood everywhere he lost yeah. his foot that's right and the other one too no. i just decided well if you're gonna lose one why, why not lose, why not lose both <laughs> That's what a girl boss would do. That's what a girl boss would do. And she is a living legend. I am alive. She is. <laughs> Jimmy's not. Oh, wait. <laughs> this past week, I was getting a little bit of work done on my house. Okay. Yeah, so I had contractors coming in and out and in and out. Mm -hmm. And in and out and in and out. And in and out and in and out. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. That's the worst. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. It's the worst. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. So we had this guy. Um, I think his name was Jack. Jack was up on the ladder and he was changing a light bulb and like, how was I supposed to know there's gonna be a ladder on my stairwell? How were you supposed to know that? And I walked by and I may have accidentally flipped over the ladder and he might have fell and that's not my fault. That's not your fault at all. Why would that be my fault? <laughs> he should actually be begging to pay you in I financial damages. Suing. I might be suing. He should be begging to pay you in financial I'm... damages. I don't just love dating i love to date and i think yes i think that's really important and beautiful dating is hard what is your perfect ideal first, first perfect ideal date my perfect ideal first ideal perfect date with a perfect person on an ideal first date mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't know uh, like i like going through a nice like relaxing walk in the city mm -hmm. and you know i love street meat we pick up a dog a sausage i mean <laughs> <laughs> so your ideal first date is that you want street meat. <laughs> if you want to take uh, Sarah out on a date, you just got to take her for a nice long walk and give her a nice good dog, a nice raw dog on the street. <laughs> My perfect ideal first date is I like to role play. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear it. On the first no day. Shame. I want you to pick me up in an ambulance. <laughs> I want you to pick me up in an ambulance. I want you to hook me up to the IV, put me in that little bed thingy, raise sure. me up, and I want you to throw me in the back of the ambulance. I want you to throw Throw me in the back of the ambulance. I want to see those doors shut, and I want you to talk to me for at least 20 minutes <laughs> as we drive to the ER. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna wait at the ER for at least three hours yes. until I can be taken to my hospital bed yeah. where I can just, you know, sit and eat my hospital food and you can feed it to me. Yes. And uh, that is like. That's really beautiful. It's kind of romantic think. and beautiful. Kind of, an ambulance ride's only like $45. So. Exactly. I, I literally sometimes I take that instead of the Uber to the club. <laughs> I just call 911. They say, Jenna. Oh, okay. Jenna. Oh, it's Jenna. It's we, Jenna again. I'm like, just tell them, tell them Jenna sent you. <laughs> and they come. And they take me right to the club. <laughs> what was the worst date you've ever been on? Uh, <laughs> Jenna, I know you have a good one. I know your one. Okay. Don't even get her started with this one. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This date with this guy, oh my he was. God. 
He was. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is my worst first date ever. I don't usually date like on apps. Like I don't use apps. Ew. Everybody's like, oh, I'm using this app. I'm using that app. No, I was like, no, oh, I'm using she like those. notoriously does not use apps. Somebody told me about this dating app called ZipRecruiter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I put in all my information. One. I said I'm a professional. I show up at this date Ew. It's a factory. What the hell? I know. It was this crazy role play. That's insane. It was like I'm gonna be your manager. I was like, no! and he wasn't even breaking character. What was your worst first date? Tell them about the bus, the guy that hit you with the bus. Oh my and god! And what happened after? Oh that my was god. such a mess. Oh. So this guy hit Sarah with a bus. Like you were literally walking so into the city. Ridiculous. The sign said walk. This like, the sign said <laughs> walk. It said walk. The bus shows up, I'm walking, mm -hmm. and he's not stopping, and I'm getting super confused. And like suddenly, oh. suddenly it's, everything went black. <laughs> and I wake up, and I, I look up, and there's a man with like a, a crazy, like amazing, cute little uniform on. And I'm mm. like, hey. <laughs> so then he takes her for dinner and then he literally like, she was like trying to like look nice, but you couldn't look nice because you have bandages all over your face. I literally, my head was wrapped in a full cast. So, so embarrassing. So what was I supposed to do? It was so embarrassing. We really guys want some dating advice. So we are gonna give you the three H's of dating. Number one, first H, Honda Civic. Make sure he drives a souped up Honda Civic that you can hear down the block. Because you want to know that your date is on his way. You don't want to text him. You want to hear him. Exactly. 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 Number two. Harry. Are they Harry? Number three. Have a good number to call in things in case things go awry. You never want to be caught in a bad moment where you're, let's say, I don't know, the building set catches on fire because you lit a match and you threw it on the table because you were upset with how the date was going. So the whole entire place lights on fire. And then you have to call somebody to pick you up because you are about to get third to fourth to fifth degree burns. And you don't want that. So you need somebody to come with a car waiting outside for you to have a, a ride home. Preferably, I suit that Honda Civic. <laughs> In my culture, actually, and I've talked to Sarah about this many times, many times. Many we times. do a thing um, where we actually date through, you know, bird calls and, mm. you know, talking to each other like, um, like birds. And it's actually very beautiful. We're actually going to give you an example of how, in my culture, we talk to each other via bird calls. for joining us. Um, I really feel like we got to the bottom of a lot of things. I know I did. Yeah. I feel quite nice. We still that. don't have any sponsors. <laughs> I asked politely last week and we still have no sponsors. That's all. <laughs> Thank you for watching The Girls, Girls Room. Room.